NASCAR 2005 Chase for the Cup. So, is there a backstory behind our custom driver about what he does for a living currently? Is he currently racing in anything? And how was he able to afford a brand new Dodge Viper? How convenient. I have concerns regarding why do we face against Newman? Why is he driving the same Viper with a different color? Why couldn't we face against anyone like Harvick? I mean, they put him in the cover of the game at the last minute. And where did he come from? This isn't a sin, but what do you think? Would Tiburon be a perfect candidate to make Hot Pursuit 3 back then? I mean, you know Blackbox was busy back then with the underground scene. Oh uh, hell no! Nah. How did you get my number when this is the first time we have encounter with each other? Man, that was some race. You're quite the driver. I don't know if you ever considered a racing career, but I might just have an offer you can't pass up. An offer you can't pass up? Shoot, if only if it was that easy to get into the sport. Well, at least in the modifieds. The fact that we can't change the difficulty and fight to the top. This is Ace Moneymaker, and I am your new agent. The fact the production cars can go over four gears. The fact the Pocono isn't in the game. Cockpit view being absent. The fact that every truck in the truck series looks like an F-150. The fact that Jeremy Mayfield isn't in the game. You know, my man just wanted to be in the cover. What happened back then? Okay, I really don't have any type of criticism against Chase for the Cup. Though, it is up there with the best NASCAR games that EA has produced throughout the years. And I'm not gonna lie, having production cars, that's what I want to see, man. Hey. Though, one thing I can say bad is the way that I have to draft in order to activate Share Draft and Intimidate. Whereas in 2004, where you draft somebody, you instantly activate Share Draft. And here, you have to keep drafting until the meters are full whether you want to intimidate somebody or share draft with somebody but then it was later fixed on a no sit so that's fine i guess why wasn't there a cockpit view the game's literally made with the same gaming engine that thunder 2004 was made with it's understandable why you wouldn't have the cockpit view on production cars and the daytona prototype but for all the stock cars why then again, that kind of shows the strict development cycle that Tiburon has. But then again, it's a sports game. They have, they have to be released every year. Anyways, that is going to be it. And yeah, I know it's short. But what do you expect from a sports racing game?